Hi Vanessa Ruck and welcome to my garage. Today I'm here with Teng Tools to do a Teng Tool tutorial on torque wrenches. That was a tongue twister, but hopefully this video is going to give you everything that you need to know about torque wrenches. <laughs> Right here I have a full range of different types of torque wrenches and I will talk about the different variations that I have in front of me. But what is a torque wrench? A torque wrench enables you to put a rotational force at a one meter point from the point that you are fastening using Newton meters. It enables you basically to put the correct load onto whatever it is that you are doing up. Now, there's a lot of people in the industry that will go white knuckles, you don't need a torque wrench, but the reality is with the tolerances on modern engines and mechanics, actually making sure that you are tightening to the correct amount as recommended by the manufacturer can both improve safety and save you money in errors. So these torque wrenches here come in a range of sizes. You can get torque wrenches from tiny, tiny one Newton meters all the way up to 980 Newton meters, which is far bigger than any of the ones in front of me. I have a range of some of the most popular torque wrenches in the Teng Tool range right here. And you'll notice that they come in different shapes and sizes. And they've also got some kits which have some extras along with it. Now I'm gonna talk through all of these and some of the things that you need to make sure that you do and you don't do when working and looking after your torque wrench. So first of all, I'm going to pick up the medium size one. So what we can see is you've got the adjustment at the bottom of the handle, and that is where you set it to either your Newton meter or your foot pounds for your torque setting. Torque wrenches typically come in a one quarter, three eighths, half or three quarter socket attachment. That's going to enable you to put on your sockets for the size that you're required and apply the torque. Now at the top of the torque wrench here, we can see that it's ratcheted. The ratchet is enable you to apply the torque, but you can also undo using these. Now it's important to bear in mind that these are calibrated for tightening to a specific force. And you don't want to start using this as some kind of leverage breaker bar as you'll do damage to the torque setting. But for convenience, you can undo. At the top, we also have an angle gauge. For some torque settings, you need to do an applied torque force plus a certain turn, and that is sort of stress bolts, etc. That's gonna give you that functionality. We have the little switch so that we can go forwards or backwards on the ratcheting. It's worth bearing in mind that a lot of torque wrenches are one rotational as far as the torque setting. So it's something to bear think about when you are buying. Some torque wrenches, like this big one I have here, enable you to do two-way torque settings. So that pops through both ways. So this can do both counter and clockwise torque wrench settings. And this one goes all the way up to 350 Newton meters. Torque wrenches will always come pre-calibrated for their accuracy and having them serviced and recalibrated is something that you want to get into your maintenance cycle after one year or 5,000 uses roughly, depending on the torque wrench that you use. So you've got your torque wrench, let's talk about the do's and don'ts when looking after them. First up, always warm your torque wrench up if you haven't used it for a period of time. So to warm it up, you're going to unlock it put it onto its highest torque setting. You're then going to find some kind of nut or bolt or hold the head in, a, in your vise or something, apply its highest Newton meter force five times. You're then gonna fully slacken it off and go back to baseline setting. There you have a warmed up torque wrench. Next, every time you use your torque wrench, make sure that you leave it with no torque applied, i.e. put it back down to zero torque. 
that just prolongs the life on the inside. When you are putting it away, make sure it is in a dry place without any extremes in temperature, the sort of environment that isn't popular for corrosion and that will prolong it. You also never want to apply any additional force. A torque wrench is designed to be the length that it's at. Never put a bar and turn it into a breaker. You'll only damage the mechanics going on in the inside. So don't abuse that torque wrench. Torque wrenches are designed to give you an audible confirmation. That sound means that the torque is correctly applied. Finally, always make sure you're using your PPE when using these tools. With so many different types of torque wrenches on the market, let's talk about some of the things to think about before you go out and buy one. The most obvious thing to think about is what torque values are you going to typically be using? If you're working on huge tractors and trucks, you're probably gonna need a higher torque capability than if you're working on a bicycle. So understand what it is that you need. You're then gonna start thinking about what sort of attachments you're going to need to put on your torque wrench, whether that's sockets, is it big sockets, is it half inch? What do you need? So obviously the different sizes that you're going to get on there versus on the quarter inch. And do you have that? You might be able to use a socket extension set to enable you to change the size of your sockets and get a little bit more versatility out of your tools. The direction of the bolts is an important one. Are you needing to do counterclockwise or clockwise? Do you need to look to a torque wrench like the one I showed you earlier that will do both ways? While a good chunk of torque wrenches come for sockets like this, which is going to enable you to use it on a socket, sometimes a socket isn't always going to work. And that is where Teng have a set that comes with crow's feet. Now there's an important thing to remember when you are using a crow's foot. If you use the crow's foot pointing directly with the tool, like this, you're actually extending the leverage of the handle on the tool, which is going to change your Newton Meaton setting. Teng have designed and calibrated the crow's foot for these torque bars so that it creates the same Newton meter force when applied at a right angle. Now it does mean you're going to have to do your tightening in 90 degree turns, but it's a lot easier than having to recalibrate a new torque setting for the variation in head. This kit also comes with a bit holder, which is going to enable you to put, for example, the Torx heads in there. So if you needed to torque a Torx, no problem. The final thing worth mentioning is you can also get a screwdriver torque. Now this is a teeny little newton meter, only going as high as five, but if you're looking at some really delicate engine parts, it's going to be quite important. And with that set, it comes with the hex, the screwdriver, flat heads, torques, etc. for all the different screwdriver type requirements. Having a torque wrench is going to be a financial investment, but it can save you a lot of money in errors that you won't make by over or under fastening, potentially have some safety implications as well. And all of these tools from Teng Tools come with a lifetime warranty. They're available on the website. Do let us know in the comments if you have any questions. Do you use torque wrenches or are you one of those white knuckle believers? Let us know in the comments. I'm Vanessa Ruck and thanks so much for watching.